that's creating split bars. Let's go one back to our Uniface 9 development environment because I want to show you that if you decide that you want to delete these bars, you just select them and press the delete key. And what's going to happen, as you can probably see there, is Uniface has come up and said deletion of this split bar will remove all highlighted splitters. And you can see in the background that it's highlighted three split bars. Now, what's happening here is that if we get rid of that horizontal, sorry, that vertical bar there, the two horizontal bars are actually attaching at these T points here and here. So Uniface doesn't know whether you really want to continue that line over here or so on. So it's just telling you that it's, it's going to remove those split bars because they're attached. So if I say yes, they're going to disappear. Now, you can put them back just as easily if you want, like this. But now potentially we've got a problem here because both these uh, two controls, they're both got attached to border. And so what's going to happen is they're going to try and attach. This one's going to try and attach to this border. And this one's going to try and attach to this border. So we probably need to put uh, a vertical one back in there and define this little area over here. So now we've got a similar effect, but this time our drop area is confined to just this little square. And if we drop in here, you can see now our uh, image is being displayed across the full width of the screen because this component is actually uh, enlarged to fill the, all the available space. So having demonstrated the capabilities on split bars, there are a couple of restrictions or limitations you should be aware of. Um, first of all, if you're using unifields, um, you cannot use them with the layout manager split bars because they become inaccessible. I wouldn't recommend using unifields anyway, but instead converting those to edit boxes and then you're okay. Um, for a similar reason, area frames and fixed component text also cannot be resized or repositioned by the layout manager. So in both those cases, um, you should avoid their use for area frames. Um, try to use the component background color or background image instead. Um, for component text, simply replace them as uh, and use labels or hyperlinks instead. And lastly, if you have a, a multiple occurrence entity, and we all know in Uniface that that would normally probably have a scroll bar down the right hand side. The split bar needs to be positioned carefully at the edge of the entity in order to work correctly. If um, you position the split bar so it encompasses the scroll bar, there are instances where the scroll bar will become invisible. So to help you visualize the potential issue with scroll bars and how important positioning is. I've got a little screen here and as you can probably see I've got a number of scroll bars defined between the various fields including one that I've positioned over here right on the edge of the the entity. Now I've made this one hidden because you don't really want to see it going up through these other fields here. So if I now uh, compile and test this application, you can see that because it's on the edge, the scroll bar is still visible. If I stop now and go back and I move it so that the area where the scroll bar would normally be, this area here, is now within, within this um, this area defined by the split bar and if I compile this and you can see that it's now completely disappeared there is no way I can use it. I, it just doesn't appear so if you're just careful on the placement of your split bar on the edge of repeating entities um, it will work fine concludes my presentation on Uniface split bars. I trust you found it useful. 
If you need more information, you can find that at compuware.com forward slash uniface or frontline.compuware.com. So it just remains for me to say thank you for your time and you have a great day.